Ibn Mas'ud, he once came to visit the Prophet when he was fevering and he said to him, oh, Messenger of Allah, you're fevering so badly. He said, yes, the fevers I experience are twice in severity than the average human being. Ibn Mas'ud, he said, is that because Allah will give you twice a reward? He said, yes. And then he spoke about you and I. He said, and likewise, any believer who experiences any type of harm, be it the pricking of a thorn or something worse than that, Allah will eliminate some of his sins because of it and will cause him to shed his sins the same way that a tree sheds its leaves. So the hardship you are going through now and the grief that you are covering in your heart that only Allah knows about it and you, your sins are automatically being erased. Allah wants Jannah for us. Or when Allah tests people in their grave, even when you are in your grave and you're experiencing the squeezing of the grave or the darkness of the grave, the loneliness of the grave, before it is made into a garden of Jannah for the believer, sins are erased because of that suffering. Allah wants you to go to Jannah. When a person experiences the hardships of the day of judgment, 50,000 years of worth of standing beneath a sun that is one meal from the top of your head. It is a difficult day for those who have not prepared. Ibn Mas'ud, he said, Allah will forgive people on the day of judgment in a way that no human mind could ever imagine.